Impetigo is a common infection of the skin that can frustrate patients because of the fact that it tends to recur with frequency. In this video, we'll examine why that happens and what we can do about it. Stick around to learn more. Impetigo is a prevalent superficial infection of the skin that usually affects children more frequently than it does adults. It is usually caused by auto-inoculation from areas of the skin that are colonized by bacteria. The bacteria that are usually involved are the streptococcus and staphylococcus. And by auto-inoculation from these areas or from people in the environment who are contaminated, who are infected with the bacterium, coming into contact with people like that or coming into contact with uh, objects in the environment that may be contaminated, can cause impetigo, can lead to impetigo. Now, impetigo can be categorized as either primary or secondary. Primary, if it infects or if it invades skin that is intact. And secondary, if the skin that is affected is skin that has already been damaged by other conditions, such as atopic dermatitis or eczema. It can further be categorized as bolus or non-bolus. Non-bolus is the more frequent type of impetigo. And impetigo in general tends to appear frequently, most frequently, on the face or on the extremities. Non-bolus impetigo usually presents with a vesicle, fluid-filled vesicle, that bursts, leaving a raw base, the secretions from which can then cross over and form a yellow, uh, popularly called honey-colored uh, crust on the lesion. Bolus impetigo, on the other hand, presents with fluid-filled vesicles that tend to persist for longer periods of time without bursting. The highly contagious nature of impetigo facilitates its transmission in certain conditions, such as in military environments, or in prisons, or in gyms, or among members of athletic teams, so that asymptomatic carriers are a significant source of the infection. Many people who suffer a bout of impetigo are frustrated by the recurrence of impetigo after successful treatment. Patients sometimes have multiple bouts of impetigo, and this is usually the result of re-inoculation from colonized areas of the body or from people in the environment, household members, who are carriers and who have the disease. This conclusion is supported by the fact that the strain of bacteria that can be cultured from the impetigo lesions is usually the same strain that can be cultured from colonized areas of the body or from family members in the environment. Impetigo is effectively treated with topical antibiotics. But for people who have recurrent bouts of impetigo, decontamination of both the patient and the environment is necessary. Decontamination can be achieved by applying mupirocin, 2% mupirocin cream, to the nares twice daily for five days, coupled with daily body washes with antibiotic solutions such as chlorhexidine gluconate. Uh, chlorhexidine gluconate once a day, uh, chlorhexidine gluconate uh, body wash once a day for five days or decontamination can also be achieved by having the patient take uh, bleach baths 
and a bleach bath can be prepared by putting a quarter cup of bleach into a quarter bath tub of water and having the patient soak in that for 15 minutes uh, every day for five days. Patients should also disinfect their environment using household disinfectants and they should launder their clothes uh, frequently using detergent and following the instructions provided. At the same time that the patient is undergoing decontamination, members in the household, family members, should also be decontaminated. And both the patient and their family members should be educated on hygiene practices. They should be encouraged to wash hands frequently using soap. They should be encouraged to keep their nails clean and short. They should be advised to change their towels, change their sleep clothing, change their socks, change their washcloths on a daily basis. And they should avoid using uh, sponges while they're showering. Patients and family members should also be advised against sharing personal items, for instance, combs or hair brushes or toothbrushes or deodorants or cosmetics. These objects should not be shared. Finally, the use of systemic antibiotics are not recommended for decontamination because the results of studies were equivocal and there's also the danger of the bacterium becoming resistant to antibiotics, causing strains of methicillin resistant Staphylococcus. I hope the video shed light on impetigo and how recurrent bouts of impetigo can be treated and prevented. If you like the video, share it with friends and family, leave your comments in the box below, and support the channel by subscribing. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.